Today is March 18, 2023. A lot of them are gone. A lot. <sighs> People realizing how stupid they are. Yesterday I was in Giant Eagle and Louisville. Some kids were home. And um, they said, uh, well, they told us to keep an eye on her. For just in case that they had made up everything on her. The police and the FBI would never have you keep an eye on me. It's the drug dealers told them that they made everything up on me. When they realize it's a serial killer. Up in Akron a couple days ago, it was on the news. Uh, people with fake CDC badges. Got four people tied them up and get them sound familiar and then shot them in the head three times uh the guy at FedEx said they're having trouble in alliance with people trying to grab people um and if you go on to Cleveland missing and then down if you could leave just even my little area the list is huge my one a uh, friend told me to find on the police department where the agent opened that protective custody case that the other police departments are working in. And uh, they knew about the Texas group being involved. Um, that they went to question a Texas charge involved and it killed itself. Um, so, uh, And that they found 35 people gagged and tied up in a real car. They, they were making so much noise that they sent a friend to the police that released it as much information. Um, I mean, when you think about just how evil this is, that agent from the Stark County FBI task force being involved in this horrible gang. Has he lost his mind? I worked with a girl that, uh, before the case started, her family member was taken. I worked with her again yesterday. And they had people show up in stores and laugh in her face. That, uh, how they tied her up and cut her into pieces. She said it was horrible. These people, just like it's funny they raped her. It's funny this. It's funny they drugged her and told her to stay. Morbid sick stuff. And, you know, when pe people realize, I'm not in trouble for some gang member, some drug dealer kicking at my door. I'm not in trouble for some gang member or some drug dealer kicking at my door while I'm out on the sixth day. I'm not in trouble for them setting up bonnet cameras stalking me and named Eric. And I am not in trouble for his serial rapist friend Steve because he can't get a woman and they're drugging up women and in their sleep and so he can rape them. Hmm? And then tell him to say weirdo stuff, roofie and drinks and uh, so you're sleepwalking for four to six hours. They said with the drugs that they use they can control you. Well I bet. My one co-worker uh, Dar, she um had a set of twins, one die, had died, and she was grieving really hard, and her friends talked her into getting a babysitter for the one, and uh, go out with them, and she said, they said, in the middle of having a drink, she uh, started acting happy, she left with a group of people they didn't know, she woke up in a puddle of pee, she was thrown up the next day, sound familiar, she's Raising somebody's son, she knows who who fathered them. She didn't even know she got pregnant. She didn't know she left with those people. They're date rape drugs. You're sleepwalking for four to six hours. I'm not in trouble for some gang member kicking in my door. Some drug dealer kicking in my door, stalking me. And this serial rapist friend, Steve. Them stalking me, photoshopping a shower scene, and then date rape talking me, and, and 
tell me to say stuff, and I'm not. I had giant bruises, and they were beating me. It's like you rested them, right? They're just drug dealers. And they said that Steve was raping me, and he was paying people to make fun of me. Because I didn't know he raped me, because he used to date rape drugs. You know, they were putting, they hadn't been putting stuff in my two liter Diet Coke. Because that's what I'd go in and get. See what I mean? When you realize. Oh, I was in Giant Eagle, some idiots also. They looked at me and said, look, it's Karen's Wolves here. That's the one they drive by and they make fun of. The police and the FBI would not have you drive by and make fun of me. It's a drug dealer. The ones that are killing people. During the case, there was, uh, where they sold, the, that agent was so corrupt, he sold the login. And he, there was girls following me around. We all know she's innocent. She's not half bad. And I'd like her to meet my dad. One of our dad. Or my dad or something like that. And one of the ones that were standing around giggling, she was at the ATM in Canton. They took her. Uh, they, were, they kept saying they wanted five three one thirty five blonde special outfit. 15 year old kid disappeared. Uh, Asian lady and her kids. She said her husband died up there. I bet he did. And then they disappeared last year. They're human trafficking people and taking them just to kill them. Um, they've been even saying it on Sunday when I went to get glasses. Some guys walk by. Nobody better say a word. They're stealing people just to kill them. They are. And I've been trying to get help down here for years. And people laugh at me for being their victim. It's like, have you lost your ever-loving mind? How much could a drug dealer and a serial killer give you money to make fun of a victim? The police would never share information, and neither would the FBI. It was on uh, Google that uh, some officer let his girlfriend look up something on somebody, and he's in jail. Selling police information. It's 13 years. Will's looking at life in federal, if not execution, for this. People have died because of him. And in my heart, he used my case for people. I asked him for help, and he used my case, my case, to kill people. I want you to know I'm real. I asked him for help. He promised to protect me. He he promised money, he promised the Medic community for life, and that he'd protect me. And he used my case to kill me and to sell police information and to embezzle over 377,000 Indians of color to pay off his drug debt. He is an evil SOP. And he's I'm tired. <laughs> it's every day. They pe it's getting better and better. It's when people realize you're grabbing people to kill people. They got fake CDC badges getting in people's homes. They have fake FBI badges. If they aren't, see, there's one thing. I call the FBI hotline. I was always wondering, I told you about why they would call me back at Stark County. That guy's so It's because Davis Dayton will start. He grabbed it off the hotline. He needs to go to jail for that. And he was at all this set up. I told you that I realized when they made fun of me that day his girlfriend walked in front of me. And I didn't realize. It was March 18th. Where Dave said him and Jack had this plan since March. It was actually him and Will and all them. To defraud the government. And to scare me into calling the FBI. To pay off his drug dealers. And to kill people. Now, with the Star County FBI, want us to stand there with signs outside of them. Tell us where any of this is from you. He told on to me at, on me at that church. Before I called him back. It was verified by an officer. He didn't tell on him before. November 6th. They already know I was drugged. I was photoshopped. They've been telling everybody it's just him stealing from the case. 
but he's using the money to keep driving and to murder people. And if they pull the case, the guy that raped me had a fake FBI agent right and arrest me at Faith Family Church after they tortured me. And I think he's the second rapist that's kidnapping people. And if they want those gang members, because I told you that one lady that they killed her uh, family member before the case started, same people. They were already, it just blew up because it got all that funding. And then he sold the locket. I want you to realize that. They told, I told her as well. You know, we talked about the white van. How did you know about the white van? I said, well, you know, and she said, the white guy with the tattoos? She was seen being taken by that man, da, 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 and in there. I'm like, oh, my God, they got her, too. See, he could have got the kidnapper on the first day when he talked to her. Was there a camera, Bobby? It didn't matter if there was a camera or not. It was his job to find out who he was. It's their kidnapper. See, what? It was their kidnapper. <sighs> and that's why I freaked out. You can't call someone a liar. You can't threaten to put them in jail if they don't say it. No coerced confession is admissible. Make me plead for my life. Oh, but list me a format. Huh? And then threaten me again. You can't do it. The only thing legally did is list me in form and have an officer talk today the requirements of the Department of Justice to be in my home. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life and have to speak to everyone before they start. It's the sanctity of your own home. You have a right to remain quiet. An attorney is where you live. They, no one can be in your home. Even officers in uniform. You don't realize even the FBI would go to jail for being in your home. Outside of protect life. And they could never look or listen. It's a gang member, dude. A drug dealer. And I'm telling you, I lived on John Thomas Street in, outside Ravenna. It was a Ravenna address. If they would actually pull where there's a duplex right next to it. The old lady lived on one side. The group of men. I think they were drug dealers. Oh, and that lady that I told you that lost her family. Um, You know, I said, well, you know the Florida place they were yeah. I said they were telling everybody they were drug traders. Yes. Did you know about Henry Muffin? She said, that sounds about right. I've heard about him. And, uh, she's, uh, she, uh, I said, well, they said they were gentlemen's club from Florida. She said, actually, they said they were this. I looked them up as a sophisticated gang and wiretapping, murder, human trafficking, drug trafficking. And racketeering where they scare people out of everything and run big scam. Sound familiar? And that agent from that Stark County courthouse wants to say he's involved. The one guy that I talked to, my one friend, he works in a factory and then he raises horses professionally. So he's like, I know someone who knows someone who deals drugs. I went to him and said that all the drug dealers know that you didn't know uh, that agent was in debt to those drug dealers. And that's why all this happened. And then he's also, I met with him uh, for uh, uh, dinner again. He's like, I have a friend on the police department. And he said they're actually working their case he opened. And then about the thing... With the Texas judge, they you know the Texas judge was, or the Texas group was involved, and they went and told, went to talk to a Texas judge involved in this, and he killed himself. See, he actually opened a case. He had a officer talk today, and other police departments are working it, and they're grabbing the bat people, and it makes our local look bad. Like the Tuscaroosa sheriff said, you can never tell anybody not to believe somebody. And not to help when you go to jail for it. A very long time, like 20 years. You can't ever call anybody a liar, it's bad term. And you can go to jail for a long time for that too. Now, I gotta get going. Um, I'm gonna upload this. But that agent actually opened one. November 6, 22, I'm at Trinity Gospel. Some investigators are in there talking. Karen's okay anymore. Uh, we found the protective custody case. Thought you should ask one of the police department. 
who are you? Then they're talking about the different keys of the case. And then the one guy said, well, you know what? The agent that called her back was actually the one that told on her at that church before she called him back. And it was verified by an officer. Oh, my Lord. And they walk out. Why would he want to say that he was part of a serial killing group? Love, love, that's it.